In this video, I'm going to talk about two common pine trees found in North and Central Florida, the slash pine and the sand pine. Sometimes these pine trees may be found growing side by side, but they are very easy to tell apart. The slash pine has light green needles in bunches of two or three. The needles are between 5 to 12 inches long. The sand pine, on the other hand, has darker green needles in bunches of two and are only two or three inches long. They are also softer to the touch than the rigid slash pine needles. The shape and size of each type of pine is very different. Notice the crown or top of the tree and how full they are. Slash pines are faster growing in the right conditions and can grow to be 60 to 100 feet tall. In comparison, not only does the sand pine have shorter needles, but it is shorter in height, growing only about 20 to 40 feet tall. Like its name, the sand pine prefers dry, sandy soils, while the slash pine can grow in wetter conditions. When you see these trees, it tells you something about the soil of the area. Slash pine cones are 3 to 6 inches long and are attached by stalks to the limbs, while sand pine cones are about 2 inches long and are attached directly by its base without a stalk. Each year in January or February, you'll begin to see a greenish-yellow dust being blown around by the wind and coating cars, windows, and even floating on lakes. This pine pollen is needed for pine trees to produce seeds. Many people are allergic and have difficulty breathing, runny noses, and other reactions to pine pollen. Simply put, pine trees produce both male and female pine cones. The male pine cone, also called catkins, is responsible for the pollen and lives only a few weeks, then falls away. Sometimes when seen on the ground, people mistake it for an insect. While they're found lower on the tree to take advantage of the downward fall of the pollen, these female pine cones produce the seeds, which are food for wildlife, and needed to produce other pine trees. Squirrels especially find pine cone seeds irresistible. Pollination and germination of pine trees is fascinating to learn about and so important to the health of the forest. Hopefully the next time you go into the forest, you will look at the pine trees a little more carefully, trying to spot the male and female pine cones or find the seeds. Both types of pine trees are important to Florida's ecosystems. They provide shelter, nesting sites, and food for birds, woodpeckers, squirrels, and many other animals, which in turn provide food for other wildlife. These pines are also important for producing paper, furniture, and many other products we use every day. Thank you for watching. Oh, and don't forget to watch our other Trout Lake Nature Center videos or visit the Trout Lake Nature Center in Eustis, Florida.